Hi. For the past few days I've been messing around with making a combination lock system using redstone. I've managed to come up with a fairly compact version of a two-row combination lock. Here's the design I came up with. As you can see, it isn't too complex. When a switch is flipped, it activates the redstone in the back here, which will be inverted when used. To require a switch to be flipped is fairly simple. If the switch is on the bottom row, you just replace the repeater with a redstone torch. If the switch is on the top row, you replace this redstone with a block and this torch with the redstone. Over here I've created a five column version. Since there are ten levers in total, the number of possible combinations is 1024, only one of which will actually work. Every column you add increases the amount of possible combinations exponentially. Adding one column gives it 4,096 possible combinations. And adding two columns gives it 16,384 possible combinations. I've already set this up so it requires three switches to be flipped. This means three switches must be in the down position and seven must be in the up position. This torch to my left will turn on if the proper combination is entered. As you can see, Flipping switches at random has no effect. But, if we enter the proper combination that I've already set up, the torch will turn on. And any torch that is, or sorry, any switch that is flipped will turn the torch off, meaning that this is the exact combination that must be entered. This can easily be hooked into an iron door for a sort of vault. You can even use an end gate to require them to press a button after the proper combination has been entered. As you can see, the button has no effect if there's no combination entered. Or if the wrong combination is entered. But if I enter the right one and press the button, the door opens. I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching.